Well, welcome to The Pathway. Today we're delving into a chapter of the Bible called the Hall of Faith because it tells us that without faith, it is impossible to please God. And Drew just walked us through from Abel to Enoch to Noah, how these characters in the Bible we know so well, they weren't great obeyers. They were just great at continuing to trust God that what he said was true and that he would reward them. One of the things he noted is that the real difference between Abel and Cain was relationship. They both offered sacrifices. They both went through the motions. But Abel had a relationship with God and by faith gave his very best to him. Enoch, Enoch's a fascinating character. He walked with God, it says in the Bible, and then one day, God took him. It's almost like this. Enoch and God were so close that one day they're walking along, talking about life, what you and I might call prayer, they're just talking to one another. And suddenly Enoch looks up and God looks at him. He says, hey Enoch, yes Lord, I think my house is closer than your house. Why don't you come on home? And he took him. That his relationship with God was so intimate, so close, that ultimately it was a matter of, do you want to spend some time at your house or my house? And he ended up taking him directly to heaven. And with Noah, Noah did a lot of things wrong. He ends up becoming a drunk. He ends up really not trusting God in many ways right after the flood. And yet what the writer is telling us is that this hall of faith are not perfect people, but they're people who just kept trusting. They just kept believing. They just kept saying, God, no matter what I'm up against, no matter what I don't understand, my relationship with you is central. And now I'm going to, by faith, trust what Hebrews 11:6 told us, that God is and he rewards those who diligently seek after him. That's what I want for you. I want you and I to live a life that is pleasing to God. Not a life that's perfect, but one that daily says, God, I want to obey, I want to behave, I want to pray out of a place in my relationship with you. And hopefully, God will look at us and say, hey, you want to come home? My house is closer than yours. Let's pray. Father, we do long for your coming. In the same way that Enoch got to see it firsthand, we long for your appearing. Come and fix what's broken in this world. Come fix what's broken in our thoughts and our minds and our behaviors. And Father, we long for you to use us even now to show people what a life of confidence in you looks like. In Jesus' name, amen.